Hey everyone, it's Joy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am using some brand new Trinity Stamps products and I'm also making an infinity shaker for the very first time. Now, let me share this cute stamp set. This is the Whale Done from their brand new release. Uh, I just did a blog hop, so I do have a video about that and you can also go check out my blog for the blog hop. But I'm gonna stamp this uh, Whale with some black Copic friendly ink on my Nina uh, cardstock. And of course, like I just said, we're gonna be doing some Copic coloring. Now, I have never done an infinity shaker before. Weirdly, it has intimidated me. And then after I made it, I felt kind of dumb because I thought, why in the heck did this intimidate me? This is so beyond easy. I feel like this is easier than a regular shaker card. So if you have never made one, you definitely need to make one. Now I am coloring this super cute whale and I will have to say, I think coloring whales lately are one of my most favorite things to color along with lemons. Isn't that the funniest thing? But this guy is so, so cute. So I'm using C4, 6, and 8, I believe, on the top part of this whale. And, oh yeah, C2. No, I'm sorry, C2. I think it was C, nope, C3 sorry, <laughs> C, eight, six, and three, I'm pretty sure. But you guys can see on the screen when I'm messing up and telling you guys something wrong. But anyways, he's a cute image, he's nice and big, and I'm gonna color him, finish coloring him, and we will use the um, coordinating dies to go with it. I also wanna say thank you to Trinity Stamps. They asked me to be a guest designer this month for their fourth birthday release which I'm just super excited about. So thank you, super, super humbled by that. I always just feel so flattered when anybody asks me to be a guest designer. So lots of fun, sent me cute stuff. You'll see the other cute stuff that I made for the blog hop if you've not already seen that video. So when I color with my Copic markers, I kind of go through the one routine and then I go through it again, but I put down my darker color, then I kind of blend over it with my medium and then go back over it with my light. And I do that twice and again I feel like I just get the best blend when I do it twice. Sometimes I have to do it a little bit more but but uh, I, I just like the way that that looks. So here's the C2. His underbelly is going to be a little bit of a lighter gray. I really like these C colors if you're going for just like a straight gray or black. Uh, these, are the, these are the colors that I like to go for. So I'm just gonna finish coloring him. I did stamp the little water spout that came out of him. So you might see that in some of these, part of this video, but I did end up not using it. So you can just ignore that part of it. But there is a cute little water spout with a coordinating die. Okay, let me just finish coloring him really quick. I'm gonna add some dots. That just gave him a little bit of texture. So I'm coming in with C10 because that's darker than that C8 that we used. And then I'll just blend out a little bit further with the C8. And then I bring in another color and I just can't remember what that color is. C4. But you can see there how that just adds texture and just a lot more interest to the image itself. Isn't he cute? Okay, so let's use that coordinating die to die cut him out. I absolutely love coordinating dies. <laughs> uh, but there's that little spout there that I ended up not using because it kind of took up the background and we're using a stencil on the background and it just kind of took away a lot of that. All right, so let's do this whole background. This is an A2 size card. Of course, I'm starting with some white cardstock and I'm using Distress Inks in Chipped Sapphire, Peacock Feathers and Mermaid Lagoon. I will be using some black soot for the stencil, but those blue colors are what I'm using for the underwater scene for this infinity shaker. I want the center to be a little bit lighter, so I'm starting with the chipped sapphire on the outside, then the peacock feathers, and then I believe the mermaid lagoon is in the center. And my pads are a little bit dry, and I just was feeling a little too lazy to go and re-ink them, which is what I should have done. This would have gone a little bit faster, but I'm just going over the colors to really try to get a really good blend. And I did at the end get a really, really nice blend. Oh, so here's Peacock Feathers, I'm sorry. So it was Chipped Sapphire, Mermaid Lagoon, and then Peacock Feathers here in the center. I'm gonna go through this one more time just to really get that really, really good blend. And as you can see, that is absolutely coming together. 
Then I'm using the Summer School 6x6 stencil and it's a three piece stencil and I'm using the black soot. This is not from the new release. Uh, this was something that was already released before but it is a fantastic stencil. And I thought this would be good right in the center because you're gonna, this is like a focal point behind the shaker. Now I have a piece of packaging that I trimmed down Oh, first, let me back up. I spritzed this background with a little bit of water and dabbed it with a paper towel to give it some water spots. But here's some packaging, and this is kind of more like a baggy packaging, but like a fancy baggy. <laughs> but you can use any kind of packaging like that. So I've cut it larger than my piece. I'm cutting the excess off the corners. And then I'm going to add some score tape because I really want this to hold. I'm gonna add that on all four edges. But at first, I'm only going to peel back three of the edges. That way we can put our shaker bits inside. So isn't that a cute, cute background with this cute fish? Okay, let's peel back that release paper. Then we can lay this on top of our packaging. And I'm not gonna pull this super tight because you want it to, you know, your shaker bits to be able to move around good. So I pushed up the bottom and then pushed up the sides. I just trimmed off a little excess piece that I had there. And then now we can dump in our fun things. Okay, so these are from Trinity Stamps. They were so kind to send these. This is a Puddle Jumping, Saltwater Aquarium, and Blue Lagoon. So this is the Puddle Jumping. And I put a good amount of those in there and they're just so shimmery and shiny. Then I'm using the Blue Lagoon, which is like some round sequence. And then that's where I was gonna leave it. And then I felt like it needed some more color because this is very blue. <laughs> so I brought in the Saltwater Aquarium, which has some colorful fish. And I'm so glad I added this to my shaker mix because it is a darling. So I'm just gonna pop those in there and then I can peel back that release tape, making sure everything shakes around good and make sure I have enough uh, shaker bits. And then I can fold that piece down on the top. And literally, you guys, that's how simple it is. And when I was done, I was like, I cannot believe I was intimidated by this. The, the sentiment that I'm going to use says whale hello, or excuse me, whale hello there with an exclamation. I stamped that in the Mermaid Lagoon ink and used the coordinating die to die cut that out. I will adhere this to a white A2 size card base. And this is where I was like, where are we going to put the whale? We've got that water spout and it was covering up those cute fish stenciled in the background. So I ixnayed the water spout. Here I am adding some white highlights and a black glaze pen to the eyes. And I will come back in and add a couple little white dots to the eyes once that black glaze pen has dried. I did want my whale uh, with some foam tape behind him along with that sentiment. You guys know how much I absolutely love Dimension. I just feel like it just totally makes the cards. So I'm gonna put him down kind of at the bottom of those swirling fish. I actually end up moving him in a second. You can see I just, I'm not loving that, <laughs> that uh, water spout, but I like that placement of him. Super, super cute. Let me come back in for that little white gel pin. And then this card is completely finished. I just wanna say, I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope that you feel like making an infinity shaker is easy, cause it is. Also, if you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel, comment, share, hit the notification bell so you do not miss another video. And thank you guys so very much and I will see you guys soon, bye.